to our broadcast live from Los Angeles, California, Jan Rognerud, uh, founder and creative director at chaosmap.com. Love you. Appreciate you. Thank you for joining. It's all about peace, love, and sales here today. And hey, what's more important out of those three? What's, what's really the one that pulls you in? Well, depending on where you're coming from today in terms of your mindset, it could be all about peace. It could be all about love. But if you have all three, I mean, isn't that what you ultimately want as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, whether you're a solopreneur, just starting out in a startup phase, or you're a high-powered executive, male, female, at a global conglomerate, you know? <laughs> Let's talk about it. Well, we're going to skip peace and love. Uh, that's a given. We all want that. But how about sales? Maybe you hate sales. Maybe you're just like, really, dude, I love marketing, but I hate sales. And as a business owner, you know that both of those are important. They work uh, like a symphony, right? Like an orchestra. They all have to, uh, you know, play and integrate nicely together uh, for this to work. And by the way, if you want to learn more about these things that I talk about on the broadcast, whether you're coming in live or uh, through the podcast, you can schedule a call with me directly by going to johnrognerud.com forward slash calendar. So that's J-O-N-R-O-G-N-E-R-U-D.com forward slash calendar. Love to uh, catch up with you and see what you're doing, but uh, end pitch fest. Let's get into it here. So I want to get this out today because um, there's a lot of talk about, obviously, uh, here on media and marketing, uh, you know, paid media, organic media. There's obviously the marketing strategies and all of this ties into ultimately growth and profits, uh, you know, revenue for businesses. Uh, and of course, uh, sales, you know, a sales, you know, a marketing process without the sales process is a waste of time. I mean, you could brand yourself all day long. You could position products and services all day long. If you're not selling anything, it's more than frustrating. And also, if you're doing advertising, which we're going to be talking about today, uh, realize that even the best will have big failures, depending on where they're at. Um, you know, small or large, all of that's going to happen because it's simply a dynamic place to live online and within the human brain. Because when you present a message to a person, it doesn't resonate with another, even if you're targeting a similar group or the same group, because it's just not their day. I mean, talk about complexity. That's why I love this so much. There's never a stale day where you can literally just do a, a binary algo and present and it's a done deal. Uh, things are going to change. You know, uh, I actually get clients that reach out and talk to me and to us at the agency. Hey, the ads were running great for the first week and then they seem to just simply stop. You know, what happened? Or, you know, it ran fine for the first month and, the, you know, we're optimizing, we're starting to scale uh, and things just go to hell in a handbasket, right? Why is that? And why couldn't everything just be normal and not be so dynamic? Well, welcome to the world we live in, right? Um, and that's simplification here. We're not going to get into optimization or, or scaling strategies, but let's talk about sales. And I got this uh, idea here today. Uh, uh, we do cover a lot of these topics, but um, Neil Patel, he's a friend in the business. Uh, you should check him out, neilpatel.com. He has a lot of great uh, information, uh, videos, uh, Facebook Watch, and also tools, awesome tools like ubersuggest.org if you're into keyword research. Anyway, uh, he was talking about, you know, how to guarantee sales or how do you, you know, optimize the sales for online purchases, right? Your online businesses. And that's what this is talking about today. There's seven secrets here to get sales security uh, from ads. And that's the title. Let's dig in. So he talked about, and by the way, I'm going to do a little controversy here at the end and why uh, the things he talked about is good. Uh, we love uh, Neil, but uh, there is one thing that he missed. And I'm going to save that one till the end. So let's go. First one here is, and by the way, not necessarily in order of priority. Uh, I'm just sort of paraphrasing from what I remember, but uh, you need to target the right audience. You hear this again and again and again. Who are you speaking to? And you want to also do this targeting in the right geo region, right? So um, uh, if you're you know, in region A and you're talking about region B, you're obviously not, <laughs> not doing good here. And, uh, and of course, uh, when you have this dialed in, you want to expand with lookalikes <clears throat> really a way for, you know, some of these uh, platforms uh, like Facebook, for instance, to um, expand, <coughs> sorry, uh, expand into uh, areas that are already working to find similar uh, people with similar profiles that you can then uh, target with ads. 
Uh, second one is message to market match. You want to, your message to resonate uh, with uh, your audience. And uh, I always uh, say this backwards, market to message match. Message to market is the key, guys and gals. And make sure that you're speaking their language and that you are entering the conversation that is going on in their mind at that moment. And, you know, that one right there brings up a lot of complexity. How do you do that? Well, it starts with number one, right? Make sure you're targeting the right audience. But you should listen to uh, many of the other podcasts here and the, the lives because I talk about this a lot. Number three, add copy to land, landing page congruency. So if you're saying, you know, uh, here's here's the strawberry story and you are uh, showing creatives from strawberries, the landing page should talk about strawberries and the congruency, the continuation uh, of that path should be uh, clear and obvious. And also uh, number four, when we talk about landing pages, we want to track it. And we're going to get to tracking here in a second. But uh, tools like a Crazy Egg and Hotjar are great ways to complement uh, Google Analytics. By the way, has some of this feature set, but complement is uh, you know entirely a different kind of approach and much more uh, sort of user friendly uh, to see where people are clicking. Uh, if you have a landing page that resonates and congruency is there, you've done a good job. It may be that the page is loading slow. Maybe you have confusing images, clickable things. You know, things are not clickable, and you're seeing their movements with uh, a tool like Hotjar. We use that uh, actually internally at the agency as well, and with clients. Number five, A/B test the ads should be obvious, but also A/B test landing pages. And Neil was talking about that. Totally agree. That is something that is built into the ad platforms. Most uh, most of them actually now it's the ability to A/B test the ads. If you are A/B testing landing pages, and you should. Um, there are tools for that as well, depending on which platform you're on, but that is a definite must. Now, if you have a $10 budget, you're just solopreneur starting out uh, trying to test some ads, you don't have to test landing pages, right? I'm talking about you know, bigger budgets and uh, uh, potentially bigger opportunities at that time. Uh, it's it's got to fit, uh, fit the scenario. But don't forget it, right? You know, Because you'll, you'll come to me uh, or to us and say, hey, man, ads are working pretty good. In our copy, our click through, everything at the front end, but it's not converting. Well, we'll we're going to talk about some of these things that I'm addressing here today, but we're going to also ask you, are you A-B testing some of these things uh, for landing pages? Number six, quiz your audience and learn why they're not buying. And uh, that's a good one. Really, thanks uh, for that, Neil. Uh, that's one that is not used a lot, I would say, uh, through surveys, et cetera, um, because it's sort of... Uh, a little bit weird, right? I mean, this is what happens. Uh, we have mentioned it to clients before. Uh, we tend to bring this up when the, the question of why things are not converting. Hey, have you quizzed your audience? Have you surveyed them uh, to find out what they're not buying? Well, I'm not, I'm not sure how I would write that survey, right? Uh, it's all about the relationship with your customers and also each uh, list or lists are segmented typically by buyers and non-buyers. You know, you want to segment it the same way. You know, there's going to be a different set of questions that go out to your buyers uh, than the non-buyers. So be smart about that, right? Number seven, the final one here for today before I get to the uh, the ultimate uh, uh, challenge here in terms of, you know, creating a bit of controversy is uh, track everything with Google Analytics and understand attribution. So everything is tracked with analytics. You have your scripts on there. <clears throat> you have your Facebook pixel, Google Analytics. Google Tag Manager is what we prefer to integrate everything as uh, containers. Uh, but then understand attribution, meaning where are people buying in your customer journey? You know, is you know Facebook uh, getting the click and Facebook is getting the the conversion in terms of that being the uh, the vehicle? Well, if you don't know that fully, and in fact, emails were the ones that actually uh, created the transaction. Well, then you're not doing it right. You need to make sure that you break this down. Uh, and understand the reporting. And we love uh, Wicked Reports for these things. But of course, Facebook has attribution as well. So uh, check that out. OK, so the, the the big sort of remember you know, here, a big reminder is so often when it comes to ads here, a lot of scrutiny placed on the creatives and the ad copy and you know all of that, which is, of course, par for the, co par for the course, of course. <laughs> but uh, most of the time, it's not your ads. You know, this is a. Uh, you know, it's a balancing act. You know, you could have the greatest ads on the planet that really creates a lot of engagement and social proof and clicks. 
uh, but it doesn't work because the landing pages and the offer and the messaging is off kilter, right? It's just, you, you need to make sure that everything is aligned and aligned in quotes here, because what does that really mean? Well, you need to go back and listen to uh, some of the other podcasts where I break this down. We have some blueprints and downloads uh, for you uh, that I've put up as well. Uh, just go through and you can do searches for this on YouTube. We're out also on Facebook Live, so that's easy to find. If you have any questions, you can always shoot a note over to support at chaosmap.com. And uh, for you guys that are in here, uh, chaosmap.com, uh, support at chaosmap.com. We're happy to uh, answer any questions and show you where uh, the downloads are. All right, so here's the controversy then. So let's say that you have all of this done right. You know, you're looking good, but you're still not selling. Well, we really need to understand, uh, well, of course, what, what are you selling? That's going to be obvious. Um, but how the sales process working for you? Because if you're selling online through an e-commerce store, you know, I can add to cart and check out with a credit card. I mean, all of this is going to be um, extremely applicable, these seven things I just went through. But um, what he didn't mention and what I'd like to call out is we deal a lot with local professional uh, services firms, right? So that is, of course, uh, legal, that's financial, uh, that is also, you know, men's spas and plastic surgeons, doctors, etc. And you don't simply, uh, you know, just place ads and they buy things online unless they have a product suite. Let's say there's a, you know, a certain, um, you know, creams or, or sprays or, you know, uh, medical stuff, uh, I'll just say that you can buy online it's going to be to set an appointment. That means that the traffic comes in and it is handed over to a salesperson or to the front office or to an administrator that happens to pick up the call and say, oh, well, you need a script. You need a dialed in sales process for that because all the traffic that comes in is going to be targeted. Is It's a matching up with the message to the market. Uh, you know, It has landing page congruency. You've hit all the things on the nail here. But it's not selling. So let's say you spent a thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, you know, more, right? And not selling. How long do you go until you figure out the sales process? Well, hopefully not too long, because what's what the problem is is that there is no sales process from a script perspective, and that's the big uh, uh, sort of reveal here, or the 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 challenge that I had with the video I saw, uh, which is you need to really speak to that. And how do you solve that? Well, that is through sales training. That is through industry and practice training within the market. And it's also understanding human psychology at that level and also to understand what is the next step. So if somebody actually says, uh, uh, no, I, I, I don't think I want to set up an appointment right now, uh, then you, do, of course, don't say why not, but you actually want to find out why not. So there's a script for that. And that's just helpful for you, but also you want to give them value again. Hey, I realize this is not the time that uh, you know works for you. Um, maybe next month, uh, you know, maybe never. But hey, I want to leave you with something today. Uh, click here, or may I send you something and watch a video? Uh, glad to share it with you. And and just for you know calling in today or for uh, speaking to us today, uh, we have a, a free gift that you can give away to one of your friends, etc. So there's always a there's always a next. You know what is next? So. Uh, that's the one I wanted to call out. You need a sales process for your professional services as well. But each industry is different, but they will all come to track the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the targeting, the message to market match, the ad copy to landing page congruency, the tracking for landing pages with hot jar, crazy egg, A-B testing the ads and landers, quizzing your audience and track everything with Google Analytics and create understandable metrics and dashboards, you know, that uh, you can share with your CFO or your executives if you're an independent or if you're a consultant, that is what you should share with your uh, clients. All right. So, hey, uh, thanks again. If you want to learn more about this, you can set up a time uh, here with uh, with me directly, which uh, eventually you're going to get over to uh, my team, which is johnrognerud.com forward slash calendar j-o-n-r-o-g-n-e-r-u-d.com forward slash calendar and that's it for today ladies and gentlemen i thank you for joining uh, always love putting these together and man let's go out and get some peace love but more sales into our lives shall we all right take it easy uh, later now